Hi, this is Allison Malika from Apps Events, and I want to share with you how to uh, move your hangout, Hangouts on Air over to YouTube. And I've been I've been doing a series of tutorials for the last couple of years on how you can do this. Um, they haven't gotten a lot of attention because, well, f frankly, it's been a heck of a lot easier, and people are used to Hangouts on Air being accessible either through Google Plus or uh, Hangouts.google.com. Um, but you may have heard that Hangouts will no longer be available uh, through those mediums after September 12th, and you'll have to go to YouTube. And it's really, it's always been there. Um, I'm going to show you an article by The Verge that says, you know, Google's killing Hangouts on air. But whenever you've done live streaming from YouTube and you're done, it says Hangouts on air. So it's really always been Hangouts on air. Uh, just a different place to go to do it, and it's not difficult to do at all, and it's a heck of a lot easier if someone just shows you how, so let me show you how. I'm going to do a screen share here, and keep in mind that, you know, things could go wrong because I haven't sat here for hours to pre-plan what I'm about to share with you. Uh, first, I just want to draw your attention to this um, article. Um, so you've got Google is killing off Hangouts in Air in September. So you think, oh my, and you might walk away from that and say, oh, Hangouts on Air is going away, but it's not. Users will have to use YouTube Live going forward, which is exactly what I'm using here. Um, I'm actually going to go to a different account to start the process. There's two ways to get to um, the live streaming or the Hangouts on Air to schedule as an event. One way is to click on upload. So if you're used to that, if you click on upload, it will take you to where you can upload a video or you can just click on live streaming. Now, if it's the first time that you've done it, um, it may prompt you to uh, verify your account with a cell phone number. And at this point, I can't even show you that with a fake account because I've done it so many times, it won't accept my phone number anymore. It says this phone number has been used with too many things. but. Um, I think you could figure it out once you get there. If you're prompted to verify your account and they're going to text you a code, well, we do that all the time. Um, so that's one way to get there. And then the other way to get there, if you don't, if you're not, you want to go that that route. If you click on my channel on the left here, you don't see the live streaming. But if you click on your video manager, you just happen to be working in there, you'll see live streaming on the left. Okay. So either way, live streaming. Now, if you click on events, this is literally your Hangouts on Air. So you can create a new live event, and you might think, oh, gee, I don't want a new live event. I want to schedule an event for two weeks from now. Well, let's try that out. This event that I'm sharing with you right now, I'm just streaming it live. So what I did was I put in the title of the event, Hangouts on Air via YouTube channel. Live stream. Now, I could say I want to run it today, um, now, or maybe I want to run it at 4 or 3.55 p.m. So I'll just say 3.55 p.m. An end time I don't have to have, um, but I can put that there. So if we're going to host uh, like a one-hour hangout or a half-hour hangout, I could say it's going to end at 4.30, okay? Or you can leave all of this and just start it now which is what I did here. You can add your description now, or you can add it later. You can stream it unlisted, which is nice, because if you stream it public, just be aware that down here, if these Google, if Google Plus and Twitter are checked, and you go to stream it, and then you decide, oh, that didn't work so well, and you hang up, uh, it's going to be streaming on your Google Plus and Twitter, your, all your mistakes. So you may, in that case, if you're, if you're creating like a webcast like I'm doing now and you think you might want to do a retake, then you can always make it private or unlisted until you have a chance to finalize it. And then you can uh, go ahead and share it out then. So I'll just make mine public and I'll share it on G Plus and Twitter. Oh, no, I won't do that because I've already done that with uh, the stream here. So I'm going to go back to the one that I'm streaming now. All right. There we go. And let's see if I can get um, – I guess I can't show it to you now. Let's click on Live Now and see if it comes up. There it is. So it says it's live now. Uh, resume the Hangout on Air. I hope it's, hope it's still going. Um, if I click, on, I'm not going to click on the link right now. I'm going to go ahead and look back here and see if it's still streaming. Yes, it is. Okay, so everything's cool. 
So step one, go to your YouTube channel. Step two, go to your video manager or upload. Step three, go to live streaming and click on events. Start, schedule your event. Um, this one I'm gonna say is private because I'm already streaming one. And then I create the event. Now if I were, uh, schedule time should be after the start time. So we need a PM there, okay? I better hurry because 354. So I'm gonna schedule the event. Um, the other event is streaming live. So now it says Hangouts on Air. Uh, it's gonna start um, at 3.55. So I, as the person who's going to be hosting this, you can see it says watch the stream live. So you can give people the, um, <laughs> you can give people, uh, oh, it's gonna stream live. So now I need to go to the live control room because I'm actually going to start this. It says start your Hangout on Air to monitor it, monitor it from here. Um, I should have already started it. So that's the public view. This is the broadcast alert. Uh, let me see if I can get it going. Of course, I messed it up because I didn't get it started in time. Let's see. Um, what happens? Let's see. What happens if you miss the start time? You start the Hangout on Air from here and then I guess you go from there. So if you're late to your own event, then just go back to where it is listed in your events and then click on start the broadcast live on air. And then what you'll see is that it's processing here to go live. And then once I do go live, um, it's just like any other hangout. So if I were going to have several guests to, on the show or on my hangout, I would click on invite people, add them in, now, what you'd want to do is you'd want to set all this up, go to the live control room, like, you know, 15 minutes before your hangout, get all your guests in, get your lower third up, um, and things like that, so that you're, it's ready to go uh, when you when you designated the time to stream. Um, when you're finished, let's go ahead and start this broadcast, and well, I'll be double broadcasting. Um, you can see that it says starting. And now this is this Hangout on Air is live. I set it as private, so it's kind of, you know, I, I don't really have guests here. But if you've done Hangouts before, everything is exactly the same. And it is Hangouts on Air. So you go to YouTube and you click on event instead of Hangouts, it's still Hangouts on Air. And it hasn't really changed. So um, you, when you stop the broadcast, It'll tell you that your broadcast is done, just like it always has. Um, and then when you hang up, you can go to directly click on the link, go to your YouTube video manager, and you'll see there's your hangout, and 18 seconds long. And then you can you can see that it's processing. But at this point, if you wanted to um, make it public, if you wanted to watch it, so. All right, so you can see that that recorded fine. And then if I wanted now, I was happy with it, I can go ahead and make it public. So that's how it works. Um, if I go back now to my original place, I can bid you farewell. Uh, so stop sharing now. So step one, go to YouTube. Step two, go to your channel. Step three, go to upload or video manager and access live streaming. Click on event. And if you've done Hangouts on here before, you're good to go. All right, I hope this has been helpful because there's only 12 more days of doing it the other way. Have a good day. Bye-bye.